What's up guys? Today we've got five skill moves that you will definitely remember in a game. Let's go. I can do this with my eyes closed. This is my chance. Nothing stands in the way of Golaremi glory. <laughs> you thought your ass was in on goal? To me, Defender Man. What? Wait, what? He's no match for my skill weapons. I've trained for this. The Reborn, no. The Elastic, no. The Golu Special. Ah, oh, he wants to prepare a Golu skill. Good luck with my sledgehammer defense. Activate intimidation skill. Uh -huh. I don't care. I'm ready. I know we'd all like to have superpowers like Golu Man, where you have endless time to think about your moves, but the truth is, the reason you can't remember your moves in the game is because they aren't ingrained into your subconscious. They aren't natural. If you want to solve this, follow these skills and principles, and you'll be balling in no time. The V pullback is an OG move for a reason. It sets you up for a number of skills and it makes sure that you get some space. To pull it off, is simple. Place your foot on top of the ball and drag it into you. From there, open up and out at an angle and use the inside of your foot to move away from danger. Why will you remember this in a game? Because it goes along with your natural instincts. If you have a hard time with complex moves, it doesn't mean that you can't do them. It just means you're not ready. Slow it down. Go with the flow, not against it. Notice that we can add another basic move to the mix and we've created a sick combo. Have a look up like you're gonna play across or play it long and then Cruyff as if you're in trouble. The second the defender comes in, pull the ball into you and then go out right where you originally came from. It will take time to train as always, but repetition is key. And if you wanna work on your fast footwork, check out day two of our 21 day challenge or our live fast feet trainings where we practice this action at top pace. Do these for a week and you will feel great. Do these for a month and literally change your game. The goal anyway, way, my friends. Well, well, well. We're getting tricky with it right here. Gotta get jiggy with it. No, I said getting tricky with it. The idea behind this skill is the same as the last. We use our instincts, what feels natural to get out and away from the defender. Popping the ball up is always going to be tough on the defender. To do this, we back up to lure them in and then pull the ball back and point the toes down, get under the ball, and then flick and pop the ball up in the air and around the defender. It by no means needs to be a very high flick. Hip height is ideal. Go for the sombrero if you're feeling confident, but all that really matters is that while the ball is in this awkward position for them, you have time to move. It can also be done when the ball is moving. Just look to chip the ball up rather than play it past them. It will probably be more advantageous for you to use the flick up when you're isolated or in the corner. But once you've practiced it enough, don't be surprised to see great opportunities with it right in the middle of the field. This is the Great Reset. No, not the crazy conspiratorial one where Bill Gates wants to turn you into a robot or something. No, this right here is your safety card and you can play it anytime on any move. Screw up a skill, shield, can't find a pass, shield. It follows the theme of today's video, instinct, protect the ball. All players think they can shield, but some do it very skillfully, regardless of their size. So let's take some points from them. First things first, get that arm up. It's your first line of defense. Next, make sure to place yourself in between the player and the ball. Then use your arm to extend that space to the maximum distance possible. Once in this position, you won't be able to stand here forever unless you're the Hulk. Note the other Hulk. Smash. 
Yes, okay. So to make this advantageous for you, you've got to learn to shield on the move with the ball. Stay light on your feet while also protecting the ball. The reason for this is because we wanna keep our options available for us. Now you can pass, turn, shoot, whatever. Growing up, if there were no teammates around me, I would practice shielding against an invisible defender or even up against a wall. Whatever you do, don't hate on this skill. It will come in handy in the game. Now for some fun. You've got a good base of skills in your bag now. What if you want to lose that defender completely? Well, this, ladies and gentlemen, is a way to do it. The back to goal body feint. For some reason, this is one of the most devastating body feints on the market today, son. Check that body count real quick. If this seems complicated, don't worry, we're gonna make it simple for you. First, it's best if you're moving away from the defender. As he's pressuring you, relax your body and fake left and right, utilizing your whole body, legs, hips, head, and shoulders need to move fluid with you. You'll notice that as you check out of the corner of your eyes, you will know which way to turn based on how they react. They may not fall, but what you will feel is an opening, and it's from there that you can make the magic Happen. Just accelerate and get out the second you sense an opening and some space. It's just as useful for when a pass is coming in. Check off the defender and approach the pass. Throw your body feints and then decide how to turn. Our boy J. Mike definitely agrees. It's a dope move. Nutmegs? What? Yes, nutmegs. A skill you will never forget. The issue isn't remembering a simple nutmeg. The issue is knowing when to try. And here's your checklist. Defender rushing in, go for the nutmeg. 50-50 ball and you're gonna be the first one there. Go for the nutmeg. A la Luis Suarez contra David Luis, for example. The point here is that there's not much complex to most nutmegs. You just pass the ball through the defender and run around him. If you and the defender are at a complete standstill though, it is going to be hard for you to go for the panna, unless you know you're quick on the very first two steps. The ideal situation is to bring them to you. As you can see here, you step on the ball, drag it back towards you, and then boom, you flick and go out the other way. The reason for this is he's moving towards you and you are moving towards him. If it works, it will almost be impossible for him to recover. And if you want more on nutmegs, we've got a whole bunch of them, including some crazy nutmeg combos in the description box. So check these out. But above all, guys, remember to train, train, train and master these skills. From there, you can and will start to build on them to more complex skills. All right, guys. That's the vid. GoldRamer.com, we got all sorts of stuff for you. If you want Socks Pro, Grip Socks, go and check those out. Mizuno, link is right down below. Practice and train, these are the type of moves that will get you somewhere in the game. Goldramey out. Peace. Oh, oh, oh,